Now I'm honored to present our third annual Achieve Minneapolis Leadership Award, which recognizes individuals who demonstrate outstanding leadership and commitment to Achieve's work and mission. This year's honoree is Tom Holman, a longtime Achieve champion who was instrumental in the creation of our career and college centers and has strengthened our organization through his tireless leadership and volunteer service. Tom is a former Dell Computer Company executive who originally hails from Texas. After arriving in Minnesota, Tom was drawn to the work of Achieve and worked with our former leaders and the local business community to launch our career and college centers. Together with the late Wynn Wallen, he helped raise over $2 million and secured computer technology for the centers. He also partnered with Achieve and Minneapolis Public Schools to bring the AVID College Readiness Program to MPS. Tom was an outstanding member of the Achieve Board for nine years, including three years as chair. He was instrumental in strengthening engagement and accountability, and he served on every board committee possible. Not only is Tom exceptionally generous in his personal giving to Achieve, he is also a tireless fundraiser who has engaged countless individual donors and corporate partners in our work. He also volunteers with our career events, going into classrooms to talk with students about his personal career journey and offer advice. Along with his wife, Kim, Tom is the co-founder of the St. Paul-based Morning Foundation, which focuses on children's education, health, and social services. He has also been a leader in a wide range of other education organizations throughout the Twin Cities. Tom is a skilled strategist and has a generous heart. His passion for our work and his strong leadership will have a lasting impact for years to come. I am honored to present Tom Holman, recipient of our 2020 Leadership Award. My name is Tom Holman. I've been involved with Achieve Minneapolis for about 16 years. Last nine years I was on the board and before that I had the opportunity of working with Achieve on a number of, uh, of, of the programs and, and uh, priorities that they had back in those days. I'm a former executive with Dell and I, I left that work to focus on nonprofit work. My wife and I run our family foundation. We call that the Morning Foundation and through that work we try to help organizations that help kids and we work with kids health and education and social services and so I got to know Achieve Minneapolis like I said about 16, 17 years ago and their work with kids and my interests were, were very much in alignment so it's great to get to start working with them. Achieve is in the business of equity. Equity is kind of a hard word to define. I kind of like to think of it as providing resources and service to those that need it most and Achieve has been doing that with the students in the Minneapolis Public Schools specifically in the area of inspiring these kids to become more successful in their education career and their lives and as we see now people are beginning to realize how important that is which is great because Achieve is just redoubling its effort in this area. I think that if Achieve did not exist we wouldn't see the impact that Achieve has had. We'd see some improvement I'm sure from the great work that they're doing in the district but with Achieve Tens of thousands of students have gone on to, to better success in education, better success with careers, and better success in life because of the inspiration and the service that Achieve has been able to give them. And I think it's been almost 30,000 students that have gotten uh, internships through Step Up. And so that kind of life experience develops this motivation in the students that leads to future success. So it's been a major set of impact, I think, that Achieve has had, and without it, I don't think we would have had that. Getting this award is, um, it's humbling. <laughs> I, I was kind of surprised when they called. It's, it's great to get the award, but again, the people that are doing the work, those are the ones that should be recognized. Those are the ones that should be getting the accolades. The people that are establishing the brand of Achieve, it's got one of the best brands in the country for the work that they do. The people that are leading Achieve, the people that are establishing the programs of Achieve, um, and then the people in the district that are working with Achieve and working with the students every day. That's really hard work and they're doing great work. So I guess for me to get the award, I'd just like to use it as an opportunity to lift up the great work that everybody else is doing on behalf of the Minneapolis Public School kids.